Copy trading can be a great source of passive income, especially as we don't have to give away our funds to some random copy trader, but our funds will still remain at the broker we trust. And also we can at any time step inside a trade and make adjustment as we want to open new trades, close new trades, and subscribe to the actual trader or subscribe to a new one. However, it is highly recommended to check your trading accounts regularly and do adjustment if you need to and especially take some profits with you. And at RoboForex, you can do it free of charge every first and third Tuesday of every month. Especially if the drawdown is currently too risky, maybe your margin is too low or you just don't agree with the trade the copy trader opened then you are able to step inside a trade. In this video, I will guide you how you can close existing trades from a copy trader step by step and we will cover it on the web view and also on the mobile view. Because mostly things happen on the go when we are not at home on our laptop or PC. So we need to be flexible to do it also on our smartphone. And if you want to know whom I following, then feel free to join my Telegram group. You will find a pinned message there with the list of all traders I'm currently copying and I always keep the list up to date. Let's get started on how you can close your trades on the web view first. So first of all, you have to log into RoboForex, of course, and then you go to my profile. And after this, just choose the account where you want to do the adjustments. Scroll down and you will find the signals this account is accepting. Scroll a little down and then you find the option to pause or to unsubscribe from a trader. So pause is really great if you just really want to pause for a limited time. Unsubscribe is more if you want to do a final decision. Also, please note, if you unsubscribe from a trader, the commission which you may owe to the trader will be deducted immediately from your account, which can result, of course, in a higher drawdown or maybe depending on the situation of your account even result in a margin call. Okay, so once you pause or unsubscribe from a trader is not compulsory to close and adjust trades. However, it is highly, highly recommended. So I always do this first. Once you're done with that, you can go here on the web trader and there you will find all the trades which are currently open and we could simply just close them these trades are actually no trades which the copy trader opened, but I just did it myself. This I'm able to show you how it would look like and how you can close it because the trader currently had no trades open. So if you want to close something, you can simply click here and it will close immediately. However, if there are a bunch of trades open, you could also choose this yellow box over here, which is saying close all and you will have all the trades closed at the same time. If you wanted to, you could also open some trades. Of course, you would just go on buy or sell. You can change here your lot size. Just click on it. You can adjust your volume here again. And you can also set your stop loss or take profit as you want to. I'm not doing it now. And if you don't know how to open trades, probably you shouldn't do it on a live account, but go on a demo account first and learn about trading. Before I'll show you how you can do it on the mobile phone and which app I'm recommending here, I highly suggest you to not just go and close trades just because you're currently afraid of and just out of fun, but really think about it, check maybe the market and see if you really want to close it. Because many times I see people are closing a trade in loss because they just got so afraid and all the adrenaline is hitting them. But then the actual trader is still making profit with this trade just because they are holding it a little longer. And I have seen people who are copy trading who are already closing trades with two, three, four, five percent drawdown, which in my opinion is not that much. But it's of course totally up to you and your risk reward management. But I would suggest you before you're closing anything and you don't know how to read trades and how to an analyze news and stuff, come into my Telegram group and exchange with each other and how they would handle this specific situation. So now let's check how you could do this on the mobile phone if you're on the go. First of all, you go to your Apple Store, Play Store, whatever, and you go and download the Mobile Trader app. Just open it and log into it with your account details. After, you will find all your trading accounts already listed here, which is really great because Mobile Trader is an app 
by RoboForex, so it is fully integrated with RoboForex. Just choose the account, of course, where you want to do the adjustments. Go on Change Account, and there you will find all the positions over here where you can see which trades are open. But also, if you go on History, which trades have been closed. However, before we want to close the trade, we first want to make sure that we pause or unsubscribe from a trader. So we go here on Copy FX and we go to Subscription. And there you can see Pause and Unsubscribe again. Please do so, whatever you prefer. You can in Copy FX also copy another trader, but please first unsubscribe from a trader and then you can copy another one. However, I do not recommend you to copy it right away from the mobile phone or just if you already know whom you want to follow. Because you cannot click here and see all the details about the profits, how the trades have been in the past, about the drawdown. So here you can actually just see the name, the portfolio and the profit, the total profit. Which is of course not enough to really evaluate a copy trader. Okay, so once we unsubscribe or pause, we go back to positions and we just click on the position which we want to have and you go and close the position. You also have the ability, which you can of course also do in the web trader, to just modify the position and to, for example, set your own take profit, which can be price or the profit, where you can choose if your stop loss is based on pips, on pricing here, or the profit you want to make. And you can also choose how much volume should be closed at this time. So now I cannot choose any other volume because it's already the lowest lot I choose. But for example, if you have already like 0.1 trade in total, you could choose to just close half of it, for example, or just 10% of it, whatever it is. And you will also find the comment here. And in my case, it's mentioned web trader because I opened the trade myself for demonstrating purposes. We can also go on history over here and then you will find your profit today and also your profit in total. And this is not only based on the euros or dollars, we made but also the percentage which i find really really nice and which is another reason why i prefer this app over the app of metatrader 4 or 5 when it comes to copy trading with roboforex but we can also have a quick look on metatrader 4 or 5 so first of course you would have to download it it looks like this and with metatrader you won't have all your accounts from roboforex already imported here but you need to go on the plus sign you would need to choose your broker, for example, RoboForex. Make sure that you select the correct broker, click on it, and then you can log in with your account number, your password, choose the correct server, please. You will find it always in your RoboForex dashboard, of course, and then you can log in. So if you have many accounts, you would have to do it manually with each single account. However, the good thing with MetaTrader 4 and 5, of course, they have a desktop app as well. But also you can add actually any broker you want to on mobile trader so i for example have my prop accounts here on mobile trader so once you edit your account on metatrader you can go on history and under positions you will always find all the open trades which you have and on deals you will find all the past orders which we have too Please also note that with the MetaTrader apps, you will not be able to see your profit in percentage. And also, you will not have the ability to unsubscribe or pause from a trader in the MetaTrader app itself. So you would still need to do it either on the Mobile Trader RoboForex app or just go on RoboForex website and do it over there. So Mobile Trader is definitely my choice to go when it comes to RoboForex and copy trading. And if you want to know the most common mistakes you should definitely avoid when you are using copy trading on RoboForex, please check out my other video. <laughs>